Saint Anthony the Great Saint Anthony the Great was a Christian monk from Egypt for his importance among the desert fathers. He is also known as father of all monks. So one day Saint Anthony decided to spend the night alone in an abandoned tomb. He was aged 35 when this incident took place. When he was in the tomb at that night, a great multitude of demons came and started beating him and wounding him all over. He laid on the ground as if he was dead. The claws of the demons prevented him from getting up. The next day, by the providence of God, a friend came to him and carried him on his shoulders to the nearest village. After getting treatment for the wounds all over his body, he came to his friend and begged to bring him back to the dome. After arriving there, Saint Anthony exclaimed, here is Antony. I do not flee your beatings, nor pain, nor torture. Nothing can separate me from the love of God. Saint Thanasius, the bishop who wrote the biography of Saint Antony, also mentioned that the demons made such a loud noise that the whole place was shaken. It is knocking over four walls of the tomb. They came in large quantity, taking the form of all kinds of monstrous beasts and hideous reptiles. And the whole place was filled with lions, bears, leopards, bulls, wolves, asps and scorpions. The lions roared and were ready to attack. And the bulls seemed to threaten him with their thorns and snakes crawling on the ground and the wolves sprawl around him. They all were making a terrible noise. He was drowning in pain. Saint Anthony faced the demons with a laugh. He said, If you had any power, only one of you would be enough to kill me. But the Lord has taken away your strength, so you want to frighten me by your number. The proof of your powerlessness is that you are reduced to take the form of of Saint Gemma Galgani was a late 19th century Italian mystic who had incredible spiritual experiences. This is how Saint Gemma encountered Satan. In a letter to a priest, she wrote, During the last two days, Jesus has been telling me, after Holy Communion, My daughter, the devil will soon wage a great war against you. These words are here in my heart continuously. Please pray for me. The saint quickly realized that prayer was the best defense. In response, Satan gave her violent headaches in order to make sleeping difficult for her. Her fatigue then made sleeping more difficult, but she preserved. She said, How many efforts does that? How many efforts does not that fresh make to me make it impossible for me to pray? Yesterday evening he tried to kill me and would have succeeded if Jesus has not come quickly to my aid. It, I was terrified and kept the image of Jesus in my mind. At one instant, while she was writing a letter, the devil snatched the pen from her hand and tore up the paper, then dragged her from the table, seizing her by the hair with such violence that it came off in his brutal claws. She describes another attack in one of her writings. The demon came before me as a gaint of great height and kept saying to me, For thee there is no more hope of salvation, thou art in my hands. I replied that God is merciful and therefore I fear nothing. Then giving me a hard blow on the head, in a rage, he said, Accursed be you, and he disappeared. I then went to my room to rest, and there I found him. He began to strike me with a knotted rope and wanted me to listen to him, while he suggested wickedness. I said no, and he struck me even harder, knocking my head violently against the ground. 
At a certain point, it came to my mind to invoke Jesus, Father, Eternal Father, through the most precious blood of Jesus, free me. Then the saint said, I then don't quite know what happened. That contemptible beast dragged me from the bed and threw me, hitting my head against the floor with such force that it pains me still. I became senseless and reminded lying there until I came to myself a long time afterwards. Jesus be thanked, but she kept her faith in Jesus. She even used humor against the devil. She wrote this to a priest. If you would have seen him when he fled making faces, you would have burst out laughing. He is so ugly, but Jesus told me not to be afraid of him. Saint John Vianney is a French priest who was pushed out of the priesthood, but his love and faith for God made him now the patron of all saints. He was born in May 8, 1786. Let's see his late night battles with the Satan. In one story, his sister was spending the night at his home, attached to his parish church, when she was awakened by a strange rapping sound on her wall and table. She was afraid, went to John Vianney, who was hearing confessions late at night. He explained, Oh my child, you should not have been frightened. It is the rapping. He can't hurt you. As for me, he torments me in Sunday. Anyways, at times he seizes me by the feet and drags me about the room. He says it because he converts souls to the good God. In another instance, the saint was in his parish church hearing confessions when someone reported to him that Vianney's bedroom has caught on fire. Now guess what his response? He says, Rapin is very angry. He couldn't catch the bird, so he has burned the cage. It is good sign we will have many sinners today. What incredible faith! He was so beloved that after dying at age 73, a bishop presided over his funeral mass with 300 priests and 6,000 people in attendance. Saint Teresa of Avila In the life of Saint Teresa of Avila, she ascended the great heights of sanctity and this infuriated the devil. He sought to dissuade her from her spiritual journey and begin to visit her. She recorded one such occasion in her autobiography. Once when I was in an oratory, he appeared on my left hand in an abominable form. As he spoke to me, I paid particular attention to his mouth, which was horrible. Out of his body there seemed to be coming a great flame which was intensely bright and cast no shadow. He told me in a horrible way that I had indeed escaped out of his hands, but he would get hold of me still. But he, but he would get hold of me still. I was very much afraid and made the sign of the cross as well as I could. Whereupon he disappeared, but immediately returned again. This happened twice, running, and I did not know what to do. But there was some holy water there, so I flung some in the di direction of the apparition, and it never came back. From long experience, I have learned that there is nothing like holy water to put devils to flight and prevent them from coming back again. They also flee from the cross, but return, so holy water must have great virtue. This was said by Saint Teresa of Avila in her autobiography. Saint Padre Pio Padre Pio's violent demonic attack Padre Pio Saint Padre Pio was violently attacked by the devil and nearly died, but was saved by the Virgin Mary. Saint Padre Pio was widely known for his holiness and his ability to reconcile sinners to God through the sacrament of confession. His effectiveness drew many crowds but also many enemies. 
late in his life a demonically possessed woman stopped by and started hurting insults and threats at Padre Pio. As in his biography, the woman was taken away and a different priest began an initial exorcism on her. Later that night, the friars were awakened by a horrible noise. The friars rushed in to see Padre Pio on the floor, bleeding from his face. The cushion from the kneeler was underneath his head, which saved Padre Pio from suffering a major blow to the head. The next day, Padre Pio's face looked bruised and his eyes were black from the impact he suffered the night before. The woman was back in the crowd and taunted Padre Pio. Eventually, the woman was successfully exorcised from the demon possessing her and was grateful for Padre Pio's prayers. She was liberated and became the most happy woman in the world. So this was the terrific demonic attacks on these five saints. The purpose of choosing this content was also to remind and to convey that the fact these saints believed only in God and fought with the devil through the spiritual prayer. We all could defeat Satan with God's power and continuous praying and supplication to God. Sometimes the human power isn't enough to fight the battles of life and with Satan. We need spiritual power to empower us and light the inner self and win the battles. Thank you.